Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you October 1st. It's a Tuesday. New month, new outlook, fresh start. A bit jaded about that gold trade yesterday, as you guys saw. Short gold all day. We sold 98s, we sold 93s, we sold 90s. Um, now it's at 72, and we made nothing. So that was incredibly frustrating yesterday. Uh, something that we had on our radar looked like we nailed it, but we kicked ourselves in the balls by perhaps having a position size that was a little bit bigger than it should have been. So, so stops had to be a little bit tighter than they normally would have been on this kind of trade. Uh, kind of looking for a home run during a shitty year that just kind of blew up in our face. I mean, it's no drama. It's not like there are any big losses or anything, but um, opportunity cost and the mental anguish, uh, there's a price for that. Anyway, just sharing. Moving on. New day. Let's go to dollar yen. News out of Tokyo uh, about sovereign wealth funds buying more international bonds. So this is yen-based stuff, buying stuff in Europe and America and Canada and emerging markets. Uh, so this would be positive for dollar yen and euro yen, cross yen in general. Uh, not to mention the fact that Treasuries got hit last night, down 130.04 now. Although JGBs had a crazy night, JGBs, uh, real low bid to cover. So yields are a lot higher in, in um, Japan right now as well in the 10 year. Um, but uh, be that as it may or whatever, this is an interesting point for us 108.50. Uh, so many people are long yen. And this looks awkward now. I just have a feeling we're going to get some sort of funny acceleration through 108.50, uh, and this thing might um, this thing might move higher. It doesn't make any sense to me in this sort of global macro backdrop. But similar to the gold trade, which doesn't make any sense in a global macro backdrop. Uh, just market positioning and price uh, just forces these things. So we'll be watching 108.50 very, very closely uh, and see how that goes. We had some highs here at 20. You could argue that this thing may linger now uh, above sort of 17. We'll have to see. We're not going to get too, too excited. We want to wait and see 108.50. It may be a non-farms trade on Friday. Not sure, uh, but it's definitely something worth to put in the book and keep on the radar, 108.50 in dollar yen. As far as uh, data this morning, uh, Aussies cut 25. That was a surprise. McCann said on Friday they weren't going to cut. Um, I would say about 75% of the analysts said they were going to cut, so Aussie hasn't done too much. That's now over with. That was a half hour ago. CPI out at 11. Don't expect much there. We do have GDP in Canada, which is uh, relatively interesting. And then we have ISM in the U.S. So more of a lively afternoon today, uh, the way the day trading day is going to be structured. Not expecting a whole heck of a lot here. Euro keeps printing these 85 lows. Looks like there's a bid there. Um, I'm not sure. We saw some of the bank analysts uh, say they want to be long euros with stops at 80. Usually that, when they put a stop so close like that, usually that means there's a big ass bid uh, they're using to sort of protect their own stops. So we'll have to just see how things trade at 108.85. Uh, no dog in this fight. We are short boons. Uh, 173.93. We're not doing a heck of a lot. We, we zipped down to 77 yesterday, but we just couldn't sustain it. 
down through 77 now though we get some fresh air so we'll see how things open when the when the boons get liquid and see how things open we'll see what happens I wouldn't be surprised if boons head south uh, as a co-conspirator in all of the 10-year bonds because JGB's uh, got crushed I don't have the chart here um, but Go ahead and get the chart up yourself. You'll see it's a big, big move. Um, Ten-year bonds in Japan, and so in sympathy, we got Boons lower, we got ZN lower, and we're looking at all of these kind of, I would say, cliffs here. These horizontal lines: 129, 28 in uh, ZN, 173, 80 in Boons. Worth watching. Other charts that are worth watching, Aussie zip, Aussie yen here, a uh, bunch of tops up here at 73.35, very, very interesting. So we're sideways here, this thing has to make a decision. So it gets interesting under 50 or above 35 Aussie yen. We're hoping this thing is going to get moving one way or the other in October, which is usually a good month for volatility. Um, the normal standard movement would actually be lower. That's risk off. Uh, October, the month of the 86 crash. Uh, lots of volatility moments typically happen in October. So we'll just have to see um, which way Aussie yen decides to go. You know, you're watching 72.50 versus 73.35. You can see the Aussie chart here. Let's go to the five minute so we can see what happened. Knee jerk down uh, to 40. Then for some godforsaken reason, it went 75 paid, the Aussie. And now, and this is after a cut. <laughs> Glad we weren't trading that. Uh, now we're down here at 26, and I threw these lows here. I don't think Aussie's gonna do too much here. I imagine this might doji today and close right where it opened 67 46 we'll see we'll see let's talk about dollar swiss as we're approaching parity lots and lots of sellers uh, around this area this is going to be very congested and slow moving uh, don't know what to make of it not trading it but i just wanted to mention we're through basically the 200 day, which you can't see on this chart, which is um, 99.70. Where is it? I'm sorry, 99.49. So we're well through the 200 day. This has an upside bias, uh, but we're also waiting, waiting for the turn. And we'll just have to see who gets filled here. Undoubtedly, there will be loads of orders at parity here. All the monkeys in Switzerland just leave their orders at one, kind of like uh, the flock in Japan, the way they trade. So we're expecting lots of congestion here between 99.90 and 100.38 uh, and a possible turn in dollar Swiss. But we are not trading this, just watching. Dollar CAD is more interesting just because of GDP today. Let's keep in mind 132.15 was the important low on Friday. This has a minor bias for lower, but of course it's binary today with GDP. But if the number beats, we will jump quickly on the uh, short dollar CAD side. Part of our plan. I won't pull up the gold chart because it just makes me sick. Uh, let's go to equities here. It's sideways now. This could go either way. Um, we keep talking about it, but 2940 is the is the bull bear point. This is where CTAs get bearish through 29.40. They're bullish in front of 29.40. This could easily take a trip up to 30 and a quarter. So just be careful. Um, you know, we've digested this impeachment news enough. We've uh, we've digested this trade news enough. Uh, not really whether it's here nor there. I don't even know. Japan, you know, they bought 600,000 tons of soybeans. Uh, According to the news feeds, oil is now lower below uh, 5475, which is positive for the global economy. Um, 
So equities could float here. And basically what we are, we're in the middle of this sideways consolidation. We'll call the low 40. We'll call the high 30 and a quarter. Um, so it doesn't really pay to trade mid-range here. I mean, you can job it around for pips if you like, if you're one of those type of traders and you have a good feel for price, go ahead. But I would say for the older, more seasoned guys out there, uh, just wait, right? We'll know what's going on at 3026 or at 2940. So patience here. I already pulled up... Um, Boons, core short, uh, Euro Aussie back higher today. As, as we talked about, we like this to shoot up to 166. Core long Euro Aussie looks the way. Um, just kind of steady now. This bar today is going to be quite positive, it looks like, especially if we get above sort of 162.15. Sterling Swiss isn't doing much did not get to the reload station uh, but core long sterling swiss we also like all right that's it looking for a quiet uh, open here in europe and we got cpi at 11 the big uh, bingo number today is cad gdp uh, we like cad dollar cad downside on a strong one there and we're watching fixed income left hand side Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.